Well, everyone, it looks like the New World Order has been busted once again. Why do I say that? St. Louis Great Streets Initiative. Yes, indeed, folks. This is a plan developed back in 2012 to reconstruct the streets of Ferguson, Missouri, and more specifically, West Florissant Avenue. Now, let's think. Where did all those big giant fires and all the looting and destruction occur? Well, it occurred on West Florissant Avenue, okay? Right here, West Florissant Ave, right in the middle of Ferguson, Missouri there. And what do you know? There's been a, there, there was a plan, okay? In the spring of 2012, elected officials, staff, and residents for the cities of Delwood, Ferguson, Country Club Hills, Florida Hills, and Jennings, along with representatives from St. Louis County Highways and Traffic and East-West Gateway Council of Governments formed the West Florissant Avenue Committee, recognizing the need for the revitalization of the West Florissant Avenue corridor. And not only was the plan in place back in 2012, but these groups were already awarded funds by East-West Gateway Council of Governments for the redevelopment of the West Florissant Road corridor. Damn, son, you just got busted. Busted! Busted! I, I gotta say, this is, if this is not the most tremendous coincidence uh, in the whole Ferguson situation. I don't know what is, okay? This is crazy. Really? They had sweetheart deals to redevelop this strip, and it just so happens two years later, the whole thing gets destroyed in what seems to be proven provocateur events? Ah, okay. What do you know? So, it's my contention that um, these private businesses along West Florissant Ave got some sort of sweetheart deal with the insurance uh, the insurance companies possibly working with the local governments there to redevelop that region. Um, so, you know, they're going to do it uh, on the public access areas and also the private areas like AutoZone, right? Like Walgreens. Yeah, that's right. Maybe they want to make them some uh, state-sponsored parks. Maybe, maybe even a memorial park to Mike Brown. Oh, that'll escalate the tensions, the race tensions for generations having a memorial to this situation um, which seems to be fraudulent hand and foot, the whole thing, all right? It's all smoke and mirrors, bells and whistles. There, I mean, there's multiple reasons. There's always multiple reasons why the New World Order pulls off these stunts, right? Of course, you got the sweetheart deals locally, the... Um, the Great Streets Initiative, and also you got the na the nationwide uh, race war they want to start to divide and conquer in order for people not to unite against the New World Order. It's all about mani uh, media manipulation, mind control, and making money so Al Sharpton can, can continue his uh, race baiting and all that. Um, yeah, it's just it doesn't end, guys. It's unbelievable. And, uh, I mean, wh what, do you, what do you say? What do you say? What do you even say to this, okay? Um... This is busted, right? 100%. And it's so obvious. Beginning south of I-270 and continuing southward through the listed five municipalities, including the city uh, limits of St. Louis. St. Louis, yes. So you look at this. That's where I-270 starts, and it goes down all the way down here to around 367, right? Route 367. And that's where all, like I said... That's where it all happened. All the burnings of the buildings, all the cars being destroyed and people looting and all that. Oh, what do you know? Well, gee whiz. Well, it's been Press Reset Earth, and as always, keep your head up, stay real, and no fear. Peace out.